there, fellow chalk and friends. It's Nick and Maria, your independent chalk couture designer. And welcome to Wednesday night chalking. So I'm sorry I'm a little late tonight. We're gonna do a, a quick little project. A um, couple of them, I think, little quick ones. Nothing, nothing too time consuming, but um, quick and easy. So what we're gonna do tonight is what I teased you with last night. And I think we are going to take this super pretty, um, I don't know if it has a name on it. No, it doesn't have a name. Just Easter decor tree. We take this really cute little Easter decor tree and it has these four wooden sides on it. And we're just going to chalk some cute little springtime sentiments on it. Just to, you know, get us in the mood. Because um, it's pretty, but we can make it prettier. Because we have the uh, technology to make things prettier. But I wanted to give you a little bit of an overview of some of my um, Target finds as of late because Target is restocking for the springtime. So they are clearancing out the St. Patrick's Day and all that stuff and they are restocking with lots of really cute, really fun little things that go really well with some of our transfers. Hey everybody, I can see you're all joining. I see Terry and Carol in Virginia. So welcome ladies. I'll get your comments closer so I can actually read you without having to squint. Um, so what I want to do tonight is I want to show you just the transfers. I did post them in the pictures as well. But there's a couple transfers that go really well for springtime and they are currently available online. But I have to do full disclosure, they are not expected to be out there. In fact, I'm somewhat shocked that they are still out there. <laughs> um, I really thought they would have sold out by now. So if you are interested in these transfers, I don't recommend that you wait too long to get them. Um, and if you are interested in them, in, if you look in the post, I did put all the links to order them. But you can go directly to www.chuck.com tour.com slash making Maria and go under the last chance button and if you click on that button that's where and you go all the way down to the end that's where these transfers are um, it's kind of a little bit of a fluke that these transfers are even available because they there was a glitch in the system one day and uh, it forced the company to reorder them because originally they were not going to so I want to quick show them to you um, oh hey Verge yeah the musical was awesome oh my gosh Thank you for asking. I have quite the little singing star on my hand. Um, she had a solo. She had speaking lines. She sang beautifully and she remembered all of her lines. She was very nervous. It is amazing to me. I'll just slightly digress for a minute. So their chorus teacher, so these are fourth and fifth graders. I mean, it's not even like they're big kids, but they're fourth and fifth graders and she takes 11 weeks for 45 minutes in the morning, no, a half an hour in the morning on Monday, or Tuesdays and Wednesdays. So twice a week for a half an hour. So an hour total a week, she gets these kids for 11 weeks. And they can put on a fully choreographed musical um, at the end of this. It's amazing. And I would tell you, this was like going to a professional play, the way these kids performed. There wasn't a major mistake. All of them could sing. Oh my goodness, they could sing. That's enough of my digressing about my lovely, lovely daughter, but she did a fantastic job. So thank you, thank you for asking. Um, and she got to wear makeup <laughs> outside of the house. So that was just huge, just all in itself. So let's. I'm gonna show you these transfers real quick. I'll show you some of the things I got at Target that will go well with these transfers. We'll probably make them over the next couple days. But um, this is the first one. And this one is Happy Easter. And this is a large transfer. This is an, uh, an 18 by 12 transfer, and it is super cute. All the things you can do with this transfer, because this transfer has a lot of parts. So I've seen people just do this part, the hippity hoppity, just the happy Easter. I've seen people just do the springtime scene on the top. It has just flower pieces. I mean, it really has a lot of nice pieces that you can kind of mix and match and make all kinds of things. And it's gorgeous all on its own by itself or as one piece. So that's one of them. This one is spring words. And spring, right? Yep, spring words. So what it says is April showers, bring my flowers. Here comes Peter Cottontail. Stop and smell the 
flowers. Hello, rabbit. Wishes, spring, there's little bunny feet, is in the air. Hippity hoppity, farm fresh, carrots, garden grown, is in the air, is on its way. Somebody loves you, happy Easter. Bunny egg hunt in Easter. So this is one of those where, oh my gosh. Possibilities are endless, has a lot of words, and it goes way past Easter. So it's not just a, you know, one holiday and done. So that's the other one. And the third one, which is by far my favorite transfer, um, as far as pieces goes, is Build a Bunny. Build a Bunny is actually the size of a C-size transfer. So it's the size of an 18 by 12 transfer, but there's two transfers in here. So they, it's priced as an E transfer. So this is an, our most expensive transfer. But again, for everything that's in here, this is a great value. This transfer has so many parts to it. Um, so it's a $39.99 transfer, but it has two full pages of pieces. And the pieces, I have to tell you, are, uh, oh, there's all kinds of things in here other than what's supposed to be in here. Um, the pieces in are in here are just super cute. So the dandelion, you know, universal for many different seasons. Little flowers, clouds, um, that's those were those are the wrong container. But the bunny himself, he is so stinking cute. Oh my goodness. So he has the tops of little tulips, carrots. Here's the other half of the tulips. Um, he's got rain that goes with the cloud, which goes with the umbrella. But look at this bunny. Oh my gosh, he's so cute. And he has little pieces so you can do the insides of his ears, you can do his belly, you can do his paws. I mean, he just has so, so many different uses. So I actually bought this transfer last year. It was one of the first transfers I bought and I joined in July, so way past Easter because I mean, it has a balloon with a string that goes with it. So you can use these pieces all year for a myriad of different reasons. It has the bucket, and inside of the bucket, that's where you put, you know, the carrots or the tulips and then the little bunny guy. He kind of looks like he's going into the bucket. There's just, there's little... There's eggs you can put in it. These are the tops of the carrots, bottom of the balloon. Um, but then you get to this other page. This is kind of the bunny page. There's a lot of pieces. I'm dropping them. Um, and this has a ton of flowers and things with it, and then a little more more bunnies. So this is a really nice value transfer because it's two pages of transfers. Um, I bought this transfer because I wanted the dandelion because I was doing a like a make a wish type sign um, so I bought the whole transfer just for this piece and then I got it and I was like holy cow I hit the jackpot with this one um, so he's a ton of fun so those are the three um, what I would tell you are pieces that if you want you need to go order there are a few other Easter transfers out there there's a beautiful um, A-size transfer that just says in a beautiful script, he is risen. Um, so there are a few more that aren't in that last chance category. But I just wanted to make you guys aware, because I was posting these, that if these are transfers you want, you want to go out and get them. Because um, I don't know how long they're going to be there. So those are some of the pieces we're going to use in our spring decor in the next couple days or weeks or you know you never know how long i'm gonna need, how long the, the mood will hit me because i gotta tell you i saw one today that i'm like oh my gosh we have to make that tonight and then i was like well no we were making i already told you guys what we were making tonight that's what happens the mood strikes me and then all of a sudden i want to make something different hey jan hey debbie hey lisa welcome to our party okay so those are the transfers and all the amazing pieces of them so tonight, I want to give you a quick little preview of the other things. Sorry, 
I'm just a mess today. You can tell I'm, it's too late. So we have our little guy we're gonna make. We're gonna make him real quick. The other things that I happened to procure at the Target bullseye section, like look at this. Oh my gosh, this is a planter. Look at how cute he is. Um, and we have some very nice transfers that will fit. Ooh, look, I echo when I go. <laughs> Sorry, it's late. And I've had ice cream. Ooh, I don't ever eat ice cream. Um, but there's some really cute little transfers I'm going to show you that go on here. So I think this could be a lot of fun. And you could, I'm assuming, maybe he's resin. I was thinking he was ceramic. I don't think you can heat set him. You'd have to spray it because he might get wet. It's a super moon tonight, so things could get crazy. <laughs> Debbie, you're so funny. Maria's crazy all the time, Debbie. You should know that by now. Okay, so then look at this bad boy. Okay, don't you think April showers bring my flowers? April showers bring my flowers. are going to look so cute on this one. But wait, there's more. You ready for this one? Dun, 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 dun. You're on the edge of your seat. I know you are. Look at this guy. Okay, so the green guy is also from Target, but I went to the dollar store, the dollar store, and I bought these pretty springy little fake flowers. Now, he could probably use one or two more, and you all know flower arranging is just not my thing. But I think spring is in the air, or one of those will be really cute. I think we're going to do spring is in the air. Now, I'm a little worried about, see the, the lines in him? But I think we can do it. So we're going to try this one tonight. Love the black watering can. Okay, so it's actually, it looks black to you guys, I'm sorry. It's dark, dark brown, almost like a bronze. So see the top, maybe that helps you see the color better. Um, but isn't it, and it was five bucks. Think of the possibilities, ladies, the things that could come out of it that you could actually use it as a watering can. Oh my gosh. Um, <laughs> Debbie bought it. <laughs> That's funny. Okay, so full disclosure, Cheryl, I don't think Cheryl's on, but Cheryl and I, Cheryl works really close to my house, and I was racing her to Target today. <laughs> she made a comment to me yesterday that she was going this morning before work, and I'm like, oh my gosh, I gotta beat Cheryl there. <laughs> I did not beat Cheryl there. She actually beat me there, and then we were sending pictures back and forth of what we got, and she said she bought, she saw the watering can, but it was dented. And I said, I know I saw that one too, but I dug deeper and I found another one. Either that or they put it out after Cheryl was there. Okay, so then there's these little guys. Now, I'm not in love with these. I'm really not. And I'm going to tell you why I'm not in love with these. These are cute little $3 chalkboards. There's white. There's, I guess you'd call it a blue for lack of, I don't know what color you would call this. Kind of a gray blue. And there's lavender. I do not like these because they are not finished on the edges and they're not finished on the back. Totally would have been sold on them if they were finished on the back and they're finished on the edges. Last, maybe four months ago, five months, four months ago, Target had some that were bigger than this and they were finished on both sides and they were the same price. So that's why and I'm not crazy about these. Plus, your transfers are gonna take a beating on these so you have to wax them. They're really good for their three bucks. Um, and I would tell you they're not that much bigger than the board and base. And the board and base is $7.99. And it's a much better chalkboard because the board and base is double sided. It's super thick. Um, it can go either direction, which is really nice for some of the A size, size transfers. Um, so that's why I think for the extra money, this is a better chalkboard, obviously. Clearly, it's a better quality chalkboard, but I also think it's a more versatile chalkboard. But these could be cute for, you know, just something quickie that you were never going to wash off and never really worry about. Okay, so I think that's the end of... Oh, no, it's not. <laughs> Why would I think I was done? Okay, so many of you bought these, too. Because you guys have been posting pictures. See, I, I have, I, we're going to be good. Next thing you know, we're all going to know what's at Target. So these are super cute, three bucks. So many different things could fit inside of this guy. I shouldn't have put this one on the floor because the spring words is really the one. Like here comes Peter Cottontail, Happy Easter, Easter Egg Hunt. Just, oh my gosh. 
so many possibilities with this guy. And he's a really nice size. You can change this to a really pretty ribbon if you wanted to. Then, look at how cute this little carrot is. So I do think here, again, like hippity hoppity would fit on here. Here comes Peter Cottontail, stop and smell the flowers, happy Easter. Um, some bunny loves you, oh my gosh. I just think this is a nice size again, and that's super committal to a big, huge home decor. And then there's the cute little bunny. Um, this is what my Target had. Now, I will tell you from the groups that I'm in, there are some other Targets that have some more things. Now, mine was literally just stocking. So, usually I find over the next few days, they start to get everything. But there's like a square board that has bunny ears. And this, the board is wood stained and then the bunny ears are white. I think there's a lot of possibilities with that. And there's one more like bunny head that are, I would assume are coming. So that's my um, Target commercial, I guess, for lack of a better word. Those are all the fun things that I think if you're looking for some inexpensive little home decor where you want to just do a little pop of Easter, it's not a huge commitment financially and um, it gives you some fun things to do. So let's get to chalking because I've been yapping long enough. Let's make, which one are we making? Oh, we're making already this one. So I like this one better than I like this one. And I like this one better for a few reasons. First of all, to me it's more spring, so you can put it out for longer. Where this is, you know, clearly it's got Easter eggs on it. You know, in a month you're putting this away. Where I think this one you could probably leave out until May if you put the right sentiment on it. So, this is, and I'm missing two of them. I think I said that the other day. Um, this is the Hello Spring mini icons. And it comes with all 12, and they're super cute. So I think, like, bring on spring, bloom and grow, April showers bring my flowers, the bird. You know, those are more universal to the season versus holiday specific. So it gives you more time to have something out. But, you know, even just on your desk at work or in your cubicle or in the lunchroom or just something to give that little pop of spring and inspiration to uh, give everybody a little pick-me-up for a five dollar investment um, and this transfer is $14.99 it's a B size and the possibilities with this bad boy are endless so this is also what I think we'll put on like we'll probably put April showers bring my flowers or we could put the cute little cloud on here you can, I think you're kind of limited to just one side because he has this buckle on him but I think this guy's cute so let's chalk up our cute little cherry blossom I think wouldn't you call this a cherry blossom I guess I would call it a cherry blossom so I brought out some fun springy colors parakeets I've got peony which matches pretty well this oh this is wild berry I was thinking it was raspberry sorbet this is wild berry but there's another new color called raspberry sorbet which is a, a little more pinky and less purpley than wild berry. So this is raspberry sorbet and this is wild berry. They are very close to each other. But I think this one goes better. So this is raspberry. And then there is forget me not blue. So I've got the four and I'm thinking we'll just do a different color on each side. So I'm going to cut my price tag off first so that I can Get it going. So what kind of things do you guys think you could do with this transfer? So if we're looking at just this guy, you know, obviously there's little tags and things like that, but um, you can etch these on glass. You can, so if you wanted like a set of drinking glasses or cocktail glasses that will have a spring occasion. Um, these are, okay, I guess I didn't show you everything at Target. These were there too. And I think these would be cute on here. We did these the other day, but they were clear. And we put little fake flowers in them. Um, so they're kind of a nice little bud vase. Again, you know, this just something, something little, something cute. Give you a little pop. Make you, make neighbors happy. Cheery. 
Okay, so I'm opening up my colors and I'm going to stir them all. In here I thought it was, I've been really trying to be really good with my paints. We might not be doing this anymore. Because my wrists have had it today. Goodness. We might not do this anymore. Okay, we're going to give them a break. <laughs> we'll let them rest. <laughs> we're going to stir the other colors. And see. So, as you can see, my I have some color separation. Very normal in your paste. That sometimes the pigments in the chalk separate. When that happens, you just stir them up. In fact, I would tell you, I'll show you one. When you when your pastes arrive, when you order them, if they look like this, don't be alarmed. Um, this is the orange pigment. As soon as you stir them, they're fine. It's just that the pigment kind of settles outside of the chalk. So don't be worried about that. Don't, you know, think, oh my gosh, something's wrong with my paste. It just means you need to stir. So I'm just going to stir them up a little. And I'm going to put the, lean the tap tops right on them so that they don't dry out while they're waiting. Okay, either I've lost comments or you guys are really quiet today. And I'm going to try to go fast because I know I started late tonight. I'm going to bang on this guy one more time. Try to get him open. Oh, goodness. I want to use this color. So i got to pull out all my tricks to get him unstuck. So then sometimes what I do is I take my little Cricut tool, the super pointy, it's like, it's like going to the dentist tool. Sometimes he likes it. Ah, there we go. Whew. Okay, we got it open. I don't know why this one even did that, because there's not even chalk all over the edges of it. Maybe it's just my old AUS. So, stirring them up. This guy needs a little bit of water, I think. Oh, well, maybe not. Sometimes you think they need water and then you stir them and then they're fine. Oh, thanks, Terry. Good job. <laughs> Way to be an athletic supporter, Jer Terry. Good job. All right, so we're just going to stick one on each corner. Oh, but we need to wax. This is one of those very not expensive woods. Definitely need to wax. I love, Tammy says she loves the stuff I found at Target and the carrot is so cute. I know. I think the carrot is super cute too. I like the carrot because he's not so big. And uh, when they're not so big, then they're really easy to just kind of, you know, throw on a doorknob somewhere, throw in a powder room somewhere. Okay, so I am opening up my wax. Give these guys. Mm. Doesn't want to open. There we go. Okay. Grab my waxing rag. I do tend to have certain rags that I use for wax and certain rags I use for other things because the wax doesn't really come off of your rags and you don't really want to wash your wax rag with your regular rags in your washing machine. So see, this is going to do what those other ones did because this is cheap wood right so this is how you know it's cheap wood when i put the wax on it it changes color that's okay it doesn't hurt the wood to do that uh, and that's how you really know you needed to wax it but it also helps the wax also helps seal it um so it's actually kind of good for the wood to, to wax it so we're just gonna do a quick little waxing. So I saw this thing today that the one I decided I was going to change and make tonight but then I said I couldn't do it because I was being bad was the Be Fabulous. Now I'm not overly crazy about the Be Fabulous. You all know that. I've been kind of clear about that. I mean I, I like it but I think it's you know kind of audience specific but I saw somebody do something with it today that was completely outside of the box and I'm like I could do that. And that made, made me like the transfer. So sometimes that happens when you get a transfer and you're like, eh, maybe, eh, I don't know. It's not going to be one I use 50 times. Um, I'll use it, but not like next month's 
the one in April. I'll, we'll use that one a ton because that one has a lot of nice pieces and it's just a nice transfer. Um, but then I saw what this lady did with it today and I was like, oh my, we need to make that, ladies. So we are going to make that. So I'm just stirring up my parakeet a little while my wax soaks in. I need to cover my piece up so that they don't dry. I need to keep this so I can buff. I don't really think I'm going to have a whole lot of buffing to do because that wax really just soaked right in, right away. So I'm just, you know, kind of rubbing, buffing off my wax, extra wax a little bit. And you can tell, I mean, I would tell you immediately this wood feels different. Because it, it's had, you know, it's had a drink. The wood has had a drink, really, is what wax does to it. Just gives it some nourishment. Okay, so. I love this little bird. This little guy. He is so cute. Um, when we were at the mall this weekend and we were demoing, these were the transfers we were demoing. And, oh my gosh, every time somebody did this little bird, he was so darn cute and now he's not going to want to stick because that of the wax but that's okay because it will work anyway so i think we're going to make the bird oh let's see i think we're going to do the bird bring on spring bloom and grow april showers bring my flowers so we will make the bird which is our pretty green color so I'm just gonna dip and go this is gonna take this is not gonna take a lot of time so this is and my transfer moved because it's messed up so when that happens you take your transfer off because I have half a <laughs> I have half a bird and my transfer moved. so then I take a baby wipe and I just wash off the chalk and start over because the wax will come because the wax is uh, providing the barrier, the chalk comes right off. So see? Chalk gone. Now I'm going to just flip sides so that gives that a second to dry. And I'm just going to lay the transfer back down. And I'm going to put my transfer back down. I don't know why these are not super sticky. Do you not need to fuzz? Carol, yes I would normally fuzz. You are 100% right. But I'm not fuzzing because, first off, my transfers are not sticking. My transfers aren't sticking because of the wax, so there's really no, it's not going to hurt the transfers. Plus, these transfers, we demoed them over the weekend, and I bet you we demoed every single one of them 20 times. So these little guys were very well loved. So if it was a new transfer, oh my gosh, yes, I would be fuzzing, 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 fuzzing. So look at that sweet little bird. Oh my gosh. I love this bird. He might, oh, he could be like the spider. Do you guys all remember the spider? I loved that spider. The spider went on everything in the, at Halloween. Oh my gosh, that little, he was a little tiny spider. He was so cute. Okay, so I'm just drying my bird so I can flip it over. And sometimes what you'll find is, because this is a heat gun, it also heats up the wax doesn't hurt it, but you can smell it. So don't be alarmed when you have that smell. Okay, flipping it. And now let's do bloom and grow. So sometimes, you know, you get these like little guys and you wonder what the heck am I ever going to do with all these little guys? And there are so many things you can do with all these little guys. Um, they are just, I would tell you like a staple piece and it is one of the transfers that comes in your starter kit when you choose to become a designer you always get one that has the 12 pieces in it because it <coughs> excuse me they're a very nice demo transfer um, to give people an opportunity to try it let's do bloom and grow in the peony color because again my transfer is not sticking I probably didn't wait long enough for my wax and uh, that's why it's not sticky because my transfers are sticky if I put it on a board it would stick um, but then you just hold it down and you can use it anyway just got to be careful Ooh, oh I like this one this color looks really good 
with our little treat. Look how cute that is. Hmm. This might be one of my new favorite pieces. Where am I going to put it? Oh, I, gotta put it. I was giving this away to one of my neighbors. I might have to make another one. <laughs> Does anybody remember May Day when you used to go around and give up, leave flowers on your neighbor's door? probably dating myself, but um, we used to do that at, on May Day, and I think that, I was thinking this would be a cute one to do for May Day. Bring on spring. Today's the first day of spring, you know, so it's just very appropriate that we're doing spring type transfers today. Okay, so our bring on spring, I think we're going to do in a raspberry. Oh, Virginia remembers, yeah, May 1st, right? May 1st. So I was thinking, but May Day, would, do you think it would be a spring flower or would you, I think this is, I think this is cherry blossoms. I don't know my flowers very well, but I would think cherry blossoms would be a great May Day type. Little, just leave them on your neighbor's doorstep with, I love to leave, well, you all, we've all had that conversation about how Maria loves to ding dong ditch her neighbors, but I love to ding dong ditch my neighbors and leave treats. That's the key. <laughs> can't just ding dong ditch them that's like being mean you gotta ding dong ditch and leave treats and you could leave these cute little <laughs> carol says if she says yes she'll be dating herself too my kids don't know may day isn't that sad how generations lose those some of those things so this year we're doing may day this is a I, ladies i am liking this little treat he is cute, 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 cute. Okay, so the watering can that we're going to do next, it was $5 for the can. I've got $4 worth of dollar store fake flowers in it. So nine bucks. And we're going to put words on it. And you could use one of these little ones. That would not hurt it at all to use one of these little ones. Um, the transfer we're going to use is a C size transfer. So those are. Uh, C size are twenty four ninety nine. Sounds right, right? But it's got the words on all that is amazing. There's so many different things you can make with that one. Okay, so now we're going blue. April showers bring May flowers. So I just dip and go. This is this is forget me not blue, and this is a just bright bright blue now I don't know if blue is necessarily the right color I think it's gonna look good with the pink oh yeah okay so then we have April showers bring May flowers so look at how cute so no matter what angle you're looking at it you have got total cuteness oh my goodness now I need to dry that I'm gonna stick my finger in it does anybody do May Day anymore? We used to do May Day. The last time I did May Day, it was with my kids. We lived at the old house, so how many of my kids were born? That's how I always have to go by how long ago was it. I think it was just the two big ones. So it was probably eight years ago. Nine, well, no, Ella's ten. Maybe she was born. Uh, one, of the, one of the cancer places does daffodils, and you can buy daffodils. So I bought a bunch of daffodils, and we ran around and gave them to all my neighbors. But, oh my gosh, bring on spring, people. Yes, I am all about bringing on spring. Virginia says, yes, cherry blossoms are spring. We used to make cute little holders for our May baskets and put them on the old folks' doors. Yes, yes, I totally remember doing this. And I think we need to bring these traditions back, people. But I don't know of any kid that does this anymore. <laughs> Now I'm one of the old folks that they'd probably leave it on the door. <laughs> oh, isn't that funny? I am. How does that happen so fast? Oh my goodness. Just like that. You blink and now you're considered one of the old folks. I'm doing some classes this summer for uh, the Institute of Lifelong Learning. And the lady called me up and she's like, well, you know, our, our participants are 50 and older. And uh, I'm thinking, well, wait, that's me. <laughs> My grandkids did it 
for the nursing home for your school. Oh my gosh, Carol, that's awesome. That is totally awesome. All right, so I'm just gonna do a quick little clean up, throw crap on my stuff, throw stuff on my floor. And I really wanna try this because I'm curious about the bunks. Um, and I'm gonna, we're gonna put this on, we could either do yellow or we could do white. I would say we could ombre, but I don't know with the bumps if we sh should try that. I mean, we could. Again, this will wash right off, so I'm not too worried about it. Um, but I was gonna do spring is in the air. So here is in the air. Truly, how can you not look at these pretty little flowers and be cheered up? As we're looking at all the gross, icky snow melting outside. Trade it for the wreath. What do you mean, Debbie? Trade it for the wreath. Trade what for the wreath? I gotta think about what we were talking about. I, I always, you know, I'm too far ahead and then I forget what we're talking about. Trade it for the wreath. And then you have an emoji. Are you winking? It's hard for me to tell. What do you mean, Deb? Okay, so we're just going to stick on spring. So we're just going to put spring on. And the key to these bumps is just going up and down and making sure that you have a good stick. If you have a good stick around the bumps, you'll be fine. We've done quite a few bumpy materials. Flower for the Christmas wreath. Oh, do you think, do you mean on home? Where it was the home transfer and then the O was a wreath? Yes, you could totally switch. And there is a, there's this really pretty wreath, this little wreath here, if you wanted a wreath. If that's what you mean, yes. there You could totally use these little doohickeys for other transfers. That's the beauty of mixing and matching them. Okay, so all I've done is gone over it, sorry, and made sure that I'm stuck down around the transfer, and we're just going to do spring. Okay, so Maybe we should do, it'll fit right there, okay. Oops. All right, so I was gonna do white, but now I'm thinking maybe we should do yellow. We could do, I have lemon yellow, which is a retired color, and I have buttermilk. You think yellow or both? Let's do both. Let's do spring and yellow and is in the air and white. I'm glad you did the green because I was kind of afraid of it. Debbie, you should never be afraid. This is no stress crafting, Debbie. Never ever be afraid. You wash it off. You wash it off. It comes right off. Okay, so, yep, Carol agrees. Let's do yellow. And I think we're going to do the darker yellow. Okay, Carol says the dark. Oh, I got it open. <laughs> First try, even. This is bright. Ah. <laughs> you all know how I feel about the bright yellows, the bright colors. This is a, ooh, baby, this is lemon yellow. Holy cow. Whew. All right. We can always wash it off. We're going bright yellow. Okay. The ridges on the watering can scared me, but I love it. I know I love it too. Don't be scared of ridges. The key to ridges really is just placement and the right kind of ridges. Okay, the easiest way to hold things that are rolly is between two squeegees. You just put the squeegees down and you put it in between and it'll hold it right in place and then it doesn't go anywhere on you. Um, my friend Sarah taught me that trick but it, and it totally, totally works. All right, so we're all stuck down and I'm gonna dip and go. Now I'm, well, watch, I'm gonna say, oh, don't be afraid of ridges, don't be afraid of ridges and I'm, we're gonna end up with a mess. That would, no, we're not. I don't really think we are. We just gotta, 
you know, you're not going to get your paste off as smooth because the ridges are there. But it'll, you know, you'll get a clean chalk. You should get a clean chalk. I hope I'm not jinxing myself. You're living on the edge. You are right, Virge. I am living on the edge. This is what happens when you do late night chalking. You get a little more risque. <laughs> oh, that's not usually the way someone de would describe me as risque. Yeah. Mm -mm. Boring. Okay, so I'll show it to you. So see, you just go over it. And then you color off. And we should, it should be clean. I didn't see her. I'll even show you in the transfer. See, I didn't do a good enough job of cleaning off my transfer, so I'm blotchy. So, we are going to wash it off. Try again. Try again. Much easier to get off when it's wet. Okay, so I'm just washing it off. And now I have a clean, wet watering can. So I'm going to dry off my watering can with a microfiber towel. Make sure it's dry and let it sit while I clean off my transfer. And I don't need to do a, you know, a deep clean on my transfer. And I'm thinking I should have fuzzed it. I didn't fuzz it either, but it, again, this one has been used a few times, so... Debbie says, still love it, going back to Target to get them. <laughs> I should be a Target commercial. I really should be. I love the place, man. The ridges are, okay. Carol says, it will complement the vivid green. I agree, Carol. The yellow did. Um, Deb says, still love it. Okay. Okay, so I'm just drying off my transfer. Just drying her off. He's not super sticky, so I am going to hit him with the disinfectant wipe. The disinfectant wipe will bring back his stick. That might help me too. And you want him to be sticky because you're going to um, put you, you because of the ridges. You definitely want your transfer to be sticky. I want my transfer to be sticky and my screen to be dry. So I'm just going to fan it. Clean up my, I got chalk everywhere while I'm fanning. Multitasking. Okay, yeah, now he's sticky. Put my squeegees back down and do over. So that's probably the challenge to ridges is... You know, you can't get your clean your chalk clean. So I'm going to stick them back on. So these transfers I do have. So if by chance you go to the website and they're gone, I do have some of them. And when you order directly from me and you're local, you save the shipping. Um, Whereas if you go to the website and order them, you pay the shipping. Um, and I'm sorry, you poor ladies out of town. You have to pay the shipping. <laughs> you have to do it. Um, okay, so we're, we're starting over. With our... And I'm going to try harder to get a clean... You know how I always say you can see the lines? This, so this is what that was. This was a... It wasn't lines, but it was globs because I hadn't gotten a clean squeegee across it. You can also just go to the website and order them too. I'm just worried that they're going to be gone. Because I have, I'm shocked that they're still there. Okay, so I am really going over it. You can see what I'm doing. And trying to make sure I'm getting my excess squeegeed off. So what happens is the excess gets in the ridge. So when you pull it off from the ridge, it's there. So hopefully, 
this is going to solve that problem. May not. Maybe it's just the way it's going to do it because of the ridges. So I'm just really trying to kind of pools where the ridges are. I know you're all on the edge of your seat now. Can she do it? It's better. Now I actually probably push more of the truck through. But this is this is better because this is clean upable. That's it. Like, like my English there, it's a new word. It's clean upable. So see, it's still there, but these are clean up lines. Very easy to clean up. It's very easy to clean up lines like that. It's not so easy to clean up uneven chalk. So when it dries, it will be very easy for me to take my precision Q-tips in there and uh, get it off. I'm just gonna dry it. And in fact, because of the surface it is, you don't even need your Q-tip. You can just use your, finger, use your fingernail. And you kind of just pick it right off. So it's not perfect. That's not bad. The other one, the brown one, this one, will be perfectly fine. You won't have any of those issues. But I like this color. I'm curious to see if they get them in other colors. Okay, so I'm just gonna cover up my chalk. I'm gonna get my little Q-tip out. Or my fingernail, like I just said, you can use your fingernail. Oh, I need some water on my Q-tip. Just a little bit of water, I don't need a lot of water. I'll show you, I won't make you watch me do this whole thing, but I'll show you on the G how easy it was and how quickly it worked. The other thing you can do if you're on a material that allows you to do it, again, I take my little Cricut, it looks like a dentist tool, and you can just pick it off. But you have to be careful not to scratch your surface. When you get the bigger globs, sometimes you, it's just faster to do it that way. Or if you're just trying to get a super clean line, you can do it that way. So here, I'm going to show you the... Got a big glob. There's all kinds of different ways to clean it up. And it's because of the ridges. But I really like this watering can. And can you tell my old lady eyes? It's like, ooh, am I close enough? Am I not close enough? Okay, so I'll show you the G on this, on this red. And I won't make you sit here and watch me do every letter. See how I cleaned up the G? Oops. So he's good, but the rest of it needs cleanup. So let's get in the air on here. And this guy I am gonna fuzz just because he's new. So I'm just gonna stick him right on my sweatpants. Because my fuzzing possum is here somewhere <laughs> underneath all this target stuff. And I'm I think I'm gonna do it right over. So it's going to cover the G a little. Oops. That was falling. It's going to cover the G a little. I might, well, let's try it lower and see what happens. I actually kind of picture it more off to the side. So I kind of pictured it in my mind more like that. So 
we'll see if we get a better job on these guys. We're going to do these guys in white. This is a good yellow choice. I think it was, I like the brightness of it on the green. I think it was a really good choice. Okay, I'm cleaning off my squeegee because it has yellow all over it. Lemon yellow. Okay, and I'm just going to dip and go with my white because I need very little. in is all in. <laughs> Every letter of the in is stuck in a crevice of a bridge. I'm just kind of trying to squeegee all the excess off without pushing it underneath the screen. You can still see the yellow though. I'm going to try putting a little thicker on top where the white goes on top of the yellow. So you can still see the yellow. Okay, let's see if it worked. Otherwise, we're just washing the whole thing off and going on to the brown one. It worked. Just needs a little cleanup, just like the other one. Hey, Aunt Josephine! Welcome to the party, Aunt Josephine. We're in the spring mood today. We've got spring is in the air. It's cute. Oops. Needs a little cleanup. My E on top of the G needs a little work. But, you know, a little cleanup and he'll be good to go. This is cute. Now, doesn't that just make you feel springy, ladies? So, yeah, I've got a cleanup to do clean up on aisle nine and it is easier with your fingernail to just get it off when you get it like that but it's very easy to come off it just comes right off the key is not scratching your surface so you just want to be careful how you clean it up but it's not hard to do okay so this is our, our second project we've got our first little springy words on our little cherry blossom for May Day um, and we're done I'm sorry it was so late tonight, but uh, we'll make some more fun spring projects. So share my video, please. Sorry, I forgot to say that. Share my video. Um, comment if you want to be in that Making Maria VIP group. Comment add me, and I'll get you in that group. And that's all I got for tonight. But thank you so much, and I hope you have a super, super, super fantastic Thursday. And I'll be back at you tomorrow night. Spring is in the air, ladies. See ya. Bye-bye.